Well, hello, folks, and welcome to the final spin. I'm Ben Clements. We're here in Waco, Texas, stop number four for the qualifiers for the American. And man, oh, man, we have got complete coverage from the Open Division coming up next. Well, we're going to break down the action, the short round of the American right here in Waco. We're going to start with the 16th callback. It's Ty Murphy and Shane Durbin. This team out of Dublin, Texas and Elsa, Texas. They're 25 and 97. Ty Murphy gets it on him. Shane heals him. They're 6 and 36. They are 32 and 33. They're number one. From there, it's the 11th high team back. Brady Tryon and Tommy Zuniga. Now, this team is a 23 and 99. They need to be an 833 to go to the lead of the open, and they get him caught. 773 puts them in the number one position. 10th high back, it is Shane Phillip and Bobby Harris. Now, this team right here with the 23 and 99, they need a 772 to go to the lead, and they are 7 and 77, puts them in the number two position. We'll slide now to the eighth high team back. It's Logan Olson. Matt Kasner, this team with a 23 and 36. They've got to be an 835 to jump to the top. Logan gets it on him, and Matt comes around there. They're two feet, eight and 12, puts their total at 31 and 48. Seventh high back, it's Paul David Tierney, Bobby Harris. we got a young gun and a veteran teamed up. They are 23 and 35, needing to be an 812 to jump to the lead. And what do they do? Paul David gets him caught. Bobby heals him. They're 802, and they are 31, 37, and number one. Sixth high team back, it's Shane Phillip, John Phillip, the brothers out of Washington, Texas. They are 22 and 13. They need to be a 923 to take over the lead of the Open. Shane gets the steer caught. Little John comes around and heals him. They are 743, putting them all alone in front. Out of the fifth high team back, it's David Motes, Evan Arnold. Both of these guys with qualifications already to Mesquite. David Motes on the head side out of Toler, Texas, and it's California for Evan Arnold. This team with a 22 and 12, they've got to be a 743 to go to the lead right here, and they get him caught 774, and that's going to put him in the number two position. Now to the fourth high team back, it's Aaron Sinegeni out of Arizona. His partner's Paul Eves, originally from Missouri, now in Stephenville, Texas. They're 2192. They're going to be a 793 to go to the lead. Aaron gets him caught right here. Paul comes around and it's nothing but net. Clean run. They are 702 for a 2894 and they are number one. And out of the second high team back, it's Nathan McCorder and Casey Chamberlain. This team of the 2103, they've got to be a 790 to jump to the top. Nathan gets him caught. Casey comes around. Clean run, 725. Puts them 28-28, and they're now number one. The high team back, well, it's Lane Ivey and Richard Durham. This team is a 20 and 93. They've got to be a 734 for the win right here. Lane gets him caught. Richard comes around. They are 731. Puts them number one at 28 and 24, and they're going to win $9,000. I had a chance to visit with Richard Durham along with Paul Eves and Aaron Sinegeni. We're right here at Waco, Texas, and uh, catching up with Richard Durham. Richard, uh, you just ended up winning the uh, qualifier to the American right here. Um, tell me about that. How does that make you feel? Oh, it's great. I mean, that's what we're all out here for. It's a chance for a million dollars. You know, I haven't seen you around a bunch. Is this something that kind of reju rejuvenated your interest, getting you excited again? Yeah, of course. Why, why wouldn't it? <laughs> And it's worked out pretty good for you. How cool is it going to be to potentially back into the box at AT&T Stadium? Oh, that's that's huge. You know, I, I won I won Rodeo Houston for fifty thousand. That don't even hold a candle to that. <laughs> well, Richard, I tell you what, congratulations. We're going to see you at Mesquite and hopefully on to uh, AT&T Stadium. Here's uh, Paul Leaves. Paul, you got a, a qualification to go to Mesquite. Well, how does that make you feel? It feels really good. Uh, didn't get in from the NFR this year, so I was really looking forward to having a chance at the million. And so what's that going to mean to be able to back in there potentially and rope for a million bucks? Oh, a lot. It could. I mean, if, if you did it, you could get ahead, and it'd be awesome. How did you get started in the sport of rodeo? Uh, you know, really, none of my family's into it or were into it, and uh, my, me and my dad saw it at a local arena and wanted to try it. And so if you had to give some advice to a young person out there listening, uh, what would be your best or what's the best advice that you got along the way that helped you get to the top? Probably the biggest thing for me is uh, 
keep your priorities straight and work as hard as you can, and then it'll all work out. You bet. Well, I tell you what, Paul, congratulations. We'll see you at Mesquite, and hopefully we'll see you right there at AT&T Stadium. All right, thank you. Well, Aaron Sinigini, we're right here in Waco, Texas, uh, after the qualifier for the American. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of been an interesting 2013 year for you. Uh, you went to the uh, U.S. Finals, where you ended up being the Open champion, and then you come here to Waco and you uh, get a qualification to go to Mesquite. How does that make you feel? Well, I've been pretty lucky to rope with a lot of good healers this year, and I got to rope with Paul again. And, and I, I feed off the good healers. I, they, they help me, and I have a lot of confidence in them, and that, that helps me rope better, and, and here we are. Hey, what's the key to your success or the key to being a good header? Well, you gotta, you gotta keep you got to keep working at it, and you got to keep roping every day, and you got to keep doing things right. And, and if your horse is working good, you, you, it's a lot easier. And so you uh, now have an opportunity to compete for a million dollars. What's that going to mean to you? You can't really think about it that way. You got to go over there and just do your thing, and you can't think about that million, and the outcome will be better than worrying about it. All right, Aaron, congratulations today, and we'll see you down the road. Well, as you can see, it was a great roping right here in Waco, Texas, the fourth qualifier of the American. Congratulations to Lane Ivey and Richard Durham roping an awesome roping today. But you know what? It doesn't matter. As long as you're inside the top ten, that's the key. We've only got one qualifier left, and that is February 14th. It's going to be in Bryan, Texas at the Brazos Valley Classic. Also, we invite you to stay tuned to the Road to the American. It comes on RFD TV every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Central. Folks, thanks for tuning in to the final spin. I'm Ben Clements.